guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing an updated what's on my iPhone. Even though I posted this video about three months ago, you guys seem to want an update. So that is what I'm going to give to you guys. Before I get into the video, I do want to say make sure you stay to the end because there is going to be a huge giveaway in this. I think you guys will really like everything that I am going to be giving away. So stay tuned so you can know how to enter and know exactly what I'm giving away. Moving right along, if you guys do like this video, be sure to give it a huge huge thumbs up and comment something down below so I know that you guys like it. I answer every single comment because I genuinely love talking to you all and subscribe to my channel if you feel like you want to. That is also one of the roles you are going to have to do to enter the giveaway so might as well just subscribe now. With all that being said, I am going to get right into this video of what's on my iPhone. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the case. So this is my case. I really like it. It's like kind of like a paint design. That's the vibe I get off of it. So I have the iPhone 11 in this like green color i think it's blue but the website on apple says green it's more like a teal color i guess so it looks like this and my case is from casetify i really like this case if i can find it i will link it down below but this is what it looks like i wanted to start off with that because i did change my case from the last time i posted this video and i really love this case i love my other one too but this one is just really protective going right in to what is actually on my iphone so i'm going to show you guys like this because it's weird screen recording from my lock screen it like doesn't let me screen record so i'll show you guys that and then i'll screen record so this is what my lock screen looks like it's just the picture that i got off of pinterest and i personally really like it it just says keep moving forward and it's like in the sky with clouds and like a pink outline around the clouds i personally really like it because it just reminds me to keep on moving forward and that everything is going to be okay if i am going through something i don't know i just got inspired by it so i just put it as my lock screen and for my lock screens i tend to change them a lot because i think it's really good to change things up a lot and sometimes I'll have my friends on there sometimes I'll have my boyfriend on there sometimes I'll have a quote sometimes I'll have things that inspire me so kind of just depends that's what I have for this month or right now now I'm gonna get right into what is on my iPhone all right so when you open my iPhone this is the first thing you see so I'm gonna talk about the background like home screen first so it is a picture of me and my boyfriend this is a picture of us from Christmas I really like having this picture as my background just because it reminds me of having such a great time because on Christmas we just had a great time so I just really like this picture and I think it was in my last one as well but I'm not sure I don't don't really remember but it looks like this I really like it so I knew I wanted to keep that when I was like rearranging my phone now to get into like the apps of everything that's on my phone so I set this up a different way I was watching Sadie Aldis's I think that's how you say your last name if it's not I'm so sorry please forgive me but I was watching Sadie's video and she was talking about ways to organize your phone and I wanted to try it out so some of this is the same as hers credit to Sadie I will leave her video down below because I love her she inspires me so much so the first thing that I want to talk about is that in Sadie's video she said it's a really cool organization technique to put everything into folders and label those folders and then for the rest of the row have it correlate to those folders so for my first folder Older, I have photos and in photos I have Lightroom I use Lightroom so much literally every single day I have a lot of different presets on there I guess I could show you guys because I am thinking of releasing some so let me know down below in the comments if you would like me to release some photos so I'm just going to click this one for example and show you guys some of the presets I have so I have beachy which is the one that I use for my YouTube thumbnails and I really like this one it's more of like a summery and like vintage vibe then I have dark I don't really use this at all I was trying to test something out and I don't like the way it came out so I just don't use it then I have insta I used to use this for my Instagram but I don't I use dusty rose which isn't mine which is why I'm not showing it but it's Julia K Chris's you guys should check that out if you need a preset because it's so nice and then I have Sam so this one is more of like a light summer vibe kind of feel and then summer Sun is the one I'm thinking of releasing it looks like this and it's just called summer Sun because I thought that was such a good name my boyfriend actually came up with that so Chris if you're watching this thank you so that is what I use Lightroom for. Then I have Snapseed. So Snapseed is really good if you want to edit something out of a picture. I talked about it in my last what's on my iPhone. So if you want to go see what that means, just go watch my other one because it's like not a lot to talk about, but this video is going to be really long already. So I'm just going to avoid talking about it. Then I have VHS Cam. This one is more of an app that I don't really use anymore, but it kind of gives your photos kind of like a VHS camera kind of look. And I just thought that was cool. So like 
like if you take a picture it looks like that so I thought that was cool then I have the Tezza app the Tezza app has some presets but I kind of just use it to get little speckles on the picture so if you open Tezza and then click on a picture and then you hit edit and you go to this little feature down here and hit dust and then it puts those little speckles on it which I just thought was a cool touch to add for like Visco or Pinterest or something like that. Then I have Story Chick. Story Chick I use for my Instagram stories. I recommend it so much because it adds something else to the Instagram story if you're looking for a creative look or something like that. Then I have Pixar. Pixar is another app that I use for my photos and for my thumbnails. So when I go on Pixar, this is how I get like the stars on my thumbnails. So I'll just click and then I'll pick a little picture that I want to edit. And I'm just going to use these strawberries for an example. And then I'll go to sticker. And for me, it'll be in recents. For you, just type in white aesthetic stars or something like that. And then you just click it and you put it however you'd like. You can also hit the eraser and then erase some if you don't want all of them there. And then you can also duplicate it by clicking this little square at the top and then duplicate and then you can put it on the other side. So that's what I use PixArt for. Then I have Canva. Canva is something that I use for my thumbnails just to make the picture the size of the YouTube thumbnail. Then I use Fonto. That is how I get the text on my thumbnail. And then I have Camera Connect. Camera Connect is something good for the Canon camera. Basically, it just allows me to download my pictures from my camera to my phone without having to put it into my MacBook. So that's always nice. So that is in my photos folder. How I got the folder name to look like that, I just put a space in between each letter and I think it looks more like stylish if that makes sense. Then I have Visco. Visco I use for obviously Visco purposes and also for editing. So when I use my presets, I also go into Visco and put the skin tone down because it makes the picture a little more pinkish and I like that. I got that tip from Julia, so thanks Julia. Then I have photos. Photos are obviously just photos. And then I have camera. So as you guys can see, it all kind of correlates to the photo little row, which I really like. So thanks again to Sadie. Then I have socials. So my socials folder, I have YouTube. Obviously, I'm always on YouTube. Subscribe if you want. Then I have YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is really good for creators because it just allows us to see all of our analytics and everything like that. Then I have TikTok. TikTok is my absolute favorite thing. Okay, maybe not absolute, but it's one of my absolute favorite things i love it so much i'm always on it i spend hours and hours on tiktok so next i have group me group me i don't really use i only use it for my sorority then i have twitter twitter i'm on very occasionally i really don't use it also then i have messenger and facebook that was for school when school comes in for my sorority and also for like selling books and just talking to people in my class then for my more used social media apps other than the youtube studio and tiktok i have pinterest i love pinterest follow me on pinterest if you want i have a lot of aesthetic boards and i literally love just going on Pinterest for like hours and pinning pins because it makes me so inspired to do things. My Pinterest name I believe is Sam Costo with two A's and a three at the end. I literally love 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 Pinterest. I recommend it to anyone so if you want go follow me on Pinterest. Then I have Instagram. Instagram is something I am always on always active on. My Instagram name is sam.costa with two A's and I really recommend you follow me because it's also a rule in the giveaway but I I really love Instagram I'm always on it and I always update you guys on there as well so this is what it looks like I try to go for an aesthetic feed I'm still working on it but it'll get there then I have snapchat snapchat is more of a personal thing for just me and my friends I don't have one public right now next I have productivity I don't know why I named it this I know Sadie did in her video so I was like I don't know what to name this so I'll just name it that honestly these apps aren't that productive but I'm just gonna leave it for now so in this folder I have notes clock health weather calculator contacts maps and app store these are the ones that I guess like I kind of use that come with the phone but not too often that they need to be on my home page and then over here I just have podcasts and settings again it's not that productive I just put it in that folder then I have calendar I don't use this calendar as much as I use Google Calendar but I do use it a little more often than I used to so I just left it there then I have mail we're just gonna ignore the 29,000 emails that I have I don't use this mail app so there's no point in me trying to get rid of them because I honestly like barely ever open it 
And then I have reminders. Reminders is a really good way for me to remember to do things, obviously. So if I get a YouTube video idea and I'm out and about, I'll just put it in my reminders and it will remind me on a certain day to film that video. So then down here I have like the pay folder, but I just have dollar signs for that. So I have PayPal, which I don't use. This is just a way a brand paid me. So I just downloaded that. And then I have wallet, which is how I do like Apple Pay and things like that. Then I have the Bank of America app, which is just my bank. Then I have Cash App. And then I have Discover, which is obviously my credit card company. Then on the bottom down here, I have Spotify. Spotify is the best. I love Spotify so much. Comment down below Spotify or Apple Music because I'm curious, but I love Spotify. Then I have my messages, my phone, and Safari, obviously. Then on the next page, I have this little like star folder. So I have tips, find my iPhone, iTunes, shortcut, music, files, app store, and stocks. And then I have Zoom, home, TV, life 360 which my mom just prefers it being on my phone then i have omega one which i use for my sorority and poshmark which i don't really use anymore and i just went on to safari typed in like star emoji and got that like white one then i have college so for college i have outlook which is my school email then i have blackboard and just a shoe mobile app i go to seton hall so that's just something i use when i'm at school then I have TV. I have Hulu in here and FaceTime. I didn't know where to put FaceTime, so I kind of just put it in there. Then I have another star folder. This is all things like Google, I want to say. So I have Google Maps, Google Photos, which is amazing. This is a great way to store your photos that doesn't take up room on your phone. So definitely check that out. Then I have Google Calendar. Love Google Calendar. I talk about this in so many of my videos. Invest in Google Calendar if you don't already because it will change the game. Then I have Google Ads, which I don't really use. And then I have my Gmail, which is what I use for my YouTube work and stuff like that. Then I have OTF. So this is kind of like in that setting that I was doing on the first page. So in here I have business. That is what I use for my job when we're obviously open. Then I have watch and activity. That's just kind of there because I use it for exercise and OTF stands for Orange Theory Fitness. So I just put it in there. Then I have my Orange Theory app, which is how I would usually book classes and everything like that. See my stats. Then I have WhatsApp. That is there because I use WhatsApp only for work purposes. And then I have humanity, which is how I see my schedule for work when work is open so that is basically everything on my phone and now we are going to get into the exciting part which is the giveaway I'm gonna go get the stuff so I will be right back so I was in Target the other day and I just saw so many cute things and I was like you know what I'm gonna do a cute little giveaway to enter this giveaway what you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel comment on this video how you are currently doing and then go over to my Instagram I'll have it on screen right here and give me a follow and then the last thing you have to do is tag three friends on my giveaway photo which will be up when I post this video and then you are entered the more friends you tag the more times I will enter your name into the random generator picker so with all that being said I'm going to get into when I will be announcing this so I am going to announce this when I hit 4k on YouTube I just hit 3k I know we can hit 4k soon so as soon as I hit 4k I will be announcing the winner it gives this video enough time to be up and you guys enough time to enter so the first thing that is in this giveaway is this cute little tube top from Zaffle. I love this tube top. I think it's really cute. It looks like this. And I had an extra one of these. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this away instead of just having it go to waste. The next piece of clothing that is in the giveaway is this cute little tube top as well. It's really good fabric and great quality. So it's from Zaffle. And I also have two of these. So we would be twinning. Now getting on to the stuff I picked up from Target. So the first thing that I got is this little Cheap's Peak Bay Mind and Body Serenity and Calm Lavender Thyme Candle. It smells so good. It looks like this. I Lysoled everything down, so don't worry. It looks like this. Really aesthetic, in my opinion. Then I picked up this cute little beauty blender. I feel like everyone needs a beauty blender, so I got one of these for you guys as well. Then I got this Lash Paradise little mascara i love this one so i wanted to include this because this is like one of the mascaras from like stores like walgreens and everything that i think is amazing so i got this one then i have a 25 dollars target gift card for you guys in here looks like this 
Then I have two face masks. I feel like I can't have a giveaway without having a face mask in it. So they look like this. I have one that is kale and vitamin B fresh pressed sheet mask. And then I have this vitamin C glow boosting mud mask. So that one looks like that. Then I picked up a disposable camera. This one looks like this. I wanted to get a Polaroid and just have that as a giveaway. But when I tell you every Target is sold out of the Polaroid that I wanted, every single one is sold out. So I just thought that this would work for now. Then I got a bag of Sour Patch Kids because these are my favorite candy and I know a lot of people like them as well. Then I got really, really, really good makeup brushes. So this one is an angled blush brush and this one is a bronzing brush. Cute and I promise these are really good quality, trust me. And then I got a Burt's Bees hemp flavored moisturizing lip balm. I love Burt's Bees, it does wonders, so I picked this one up as well. And then I picked up an makeup free zone cucumber like pad little oil tablets, so it looks like this. These are really good, I don't know if any of you have ever tried these, but works wonders. And then the last thing that I got is this lavender color nail polish, it looks like this. Lavender is one of my favorite colors, so when I saw this I was like, oh my gosh, I need to pick that up. That is everything in this giveaway. There is going to be another giveaway coming soon with all like back to school supply stuff and everything. If you guys do want to enter this one, just be sure to again subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below how you are doing, follow me on Instagram which will be on the screen right here, and tag a friend in my recent Instagram upload. The more friends you tag, the more times you get put into the random generator. I will be announcing it once I hit 4k on YouTube, so get me there soon guys and I'll be able to ship it out to you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. You guys know the drill. I love you all, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.